Yo, what is everyone and welcome back to another video. In this video, I want to go over how to create the infamous text repeater effect in Final Cut Pro 10. So as you can see right here or there, that is what the text repeater effect looks like right there. It's a really cool effect and a lot of people um, use this effect a lot and that's what it looks like. So I'm going to go over basically how to create this effect right there. And yes, it's definitely quite time consuming. Um, but that being said, I'm just going to go over basically how to do it. So let's go over here and I'm just going to kind of, just going to basically create a template over here somewhere. So let's start here. So what you want to do is you want to place a marker um, anywhere you want. And then what you're going to do is at one second. So we're going to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And you're going to go all the way up to 18 right there. So you're going to place a marker at one second and then place a marker at uh, one second and 18 frames. Basically what that is, is this, this effect, this effect lasts for, um, 18 frames. Now what we're going to do is going to head over to the text layers right here. Just go ahead and we're just going to apply a, um, a basic title right there. So we're just going to apply a basic title right there. And now I'm going to use the blade tool right here to cut it off. As you can see right here, this lasts for 18 frames um, right here. So I'll kind of zoom in a little bit. And I'm kind of use this as a guide to go back and forth. Uh, so what we're going to do right here is we're just going to go ahead and rename this um, middle right here. So go ahead and press on type in middle right here. And I'm just going to go ahead and type in the exact same name I did for the other one. So I'll just type in Matt Ryan. I'll change the size to 250 right there. And then we'll just change the font to Futura because that's my favorite font right there. Go to bold and you can see it's not quite centered. So what you can do is you can go to view, go down to show horizons. And then basically you can go ahead and use the Y axis to kind of center it right there. And that looks pretty good. That looks pretty centered um, right there. Of course, it depends on how you want your thing to look. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and hold down option and we're going to create a copy right here. Basically at the end of the day we're going to create a lot of copies. So what we're going to do is I'm going to go ahead and actually before I do that, I, you know, uh, what you want to do before you uh, create a copy right there is you want to go here um, to the outline right here. So I'm going to go ahead and select the outline for this one and we're just going to make this white. Um, you can obviously make it whatever, whatever color you want, but you want to first make the outline first for the top layer before you duplicate it because you want all the text layers to be um, the exact same color unless you don't, but I think in most cases people would want the exact same color. So we created a duplicate right here and I'll just name this negative one right here. Scroll down, go ahead, click off face, click on the outline right here, and we'll go ahead and head over to the effects panel right here, and we'll go ahead and bring it down. And there we go. That's pretty much the first step right there, or the fifth step, whatever step um, we're on right now. So what I'm gonna do is gonna head over to mask right here, apply a draw mask onto the bottom text layer right there. And what you're just gonna do is I'll go ahead and load P the position tool so it doesn't get in my way. Basically what you're just gonna do is you're just basically gonna cut off the bottom half of the this text right here. So we'll go ahead and select it right here. And of course you could move it up. Let's just say right there um, looks pretty good right here. What we're gonna do is gonna take this negative one. We're gonna drag it up and try to match it up right here. And then basically what we're just going to do is we're just going to create a whole bunch of copies right here. So we'll create a copy right here, a copy right here, and then another copy right here. We'll go ahead and do this to negative two right here. Go ahead and name this one negative three right here. Go ahead and then we'll just rename this one negative four. We'll take the negative two one, go to the position, drag it down right here. We'll go to the negative three one, we'll drag it down um, right there. Go to the negative four one, and then we'll drag it down one more time right here. Now what you're gonna do is you're gonna take the negative one, so you're gonna go ahead and create a copy right here, and place the negative one up on top of the middle right here, and we'll just name this one right there. Now what you're gonna do with one is you're gonna go ahead to the mask, invert the mask, and then let's just drag the position 
up right here and then basically what you're just going to do is you're just going to create you guessed it um, three more copies right there so in total you have about nine layers so I'll go ahead and go over here and we'll just name this two right here we'll drag this up um, right there we'll go ahead and go to this right here we'll name this one three and i'll just drag this up right here and then we'll name this one uh, four right there i think it's probably a really good idea to name your layers like this because it'll just help you a lot and you want to make sure that for the most part it's pretty much in order or else it's going to be a really pain it's going to be a real pain to uh, go through that with the next phase now for the most part you're pretty much done so you can see right here now this is what it looks like right here so basically you're just changing it every one frame um, right there so what we're gonna do is we're gonna start at the bot at the top right here make sure I have everything correct and go ahead and start at the top zoom in a little bit right here now what we're gonna do is we're gonna start the third one we're gonna bring it in one frame we're gonna match it to three but bring it in another frame match it into two bring it in another frame and basically what you're doing is you're just basically like creating a pyramid or creating a step basically you're just adjusting it one frame um, right there so go ahead and we'll just do it right here and at the end of the day you want to make sure uh, there we go right there now let's go ahead and play it right here and make sure you did this correctly right here so I'll play it right here and as you can see there we go you have created the effect um, right there now what you want to do is you want to go you want to start it here start at the negative four one and basically what you want to do is you want to make sure everything lasts 10 frames so we're going to go back right here as you can see it says zero zero point uh, uh, 10 right here so that's correct so we're going to go this zero point 10 right here and you're just basically moving it in one frame so that each of these lasts for 10 frames um, right there as you can see right there I think at this point I'm pretty sure you got the picture of how to create this right there now one thing you could do is you could actually have the middle layer have it extended and don't actually have the middle layer disappear but I personally didn't really like the look of that so I just went with that look but you could obviously hold the middle one if you want to I don't think that's a good idea but that's of course is all to you so let's go ahead and play it right here and as you can see there we go we have created the very infamous text repeater effect right there very simple and very easy effect right there and voila you've completely created the text repeater effect um, right there so again to go over it one more time I'll kind of go over some of the basics um, again right here so you just have the middle layer right here and then you have four on the bottom and then four on the top and you just change it to the outline and what you're just doing right here is you're having a draw mask the bottom one that you're having a draw mask to cut out the bottom part and then when you go up to the top layers right here you have the exact same draw mask um, right here however you have inverted the mask so you cut out the bottom part in the bottom right here and then the top layers it still has a mask but you're basically just inverting the mask so the top part of Matt Ryan is showing while the bottom the bottom part of Matt Ryan is showing right there and then all you're doing right here is you're just going one frame so you can see we're just, we're just gonna go um, one frame at a time right um, at a time right there and there we go this is simple as that how to create um, this really cool text repeater effect that basically come on for one frame and then disappear after one frame and there you go you could obviously hold it for much longer than 10 frames but if you if you watch any freeze frame tutorials you know that 10 frames is very much kind of like a golden standard so if you never know how much if you never know how long to hold a clip or something 10 frames is pretty much like the golden rule the golden standard um, you just constantly see 10 frames being the most common but as you can see right there there you go that's how you create the infamous text I don't know why I keep calling it the infamous but I like you've probably seen this text effect all over the place and now you know how to create in Final Cut Pro doesn't cost any money there's no free plugins there's no paid plugins it's completely built into Final Cut Pro 10 again you can go to view right here and you could show horizons if you want to make sure the text is centered you can also click on control T if you want to just automatically put a title on without having to drag it out of the title layer right there Anyways, hopefully you enjoyed this video. Hopefully you found it helpful and informative. If you're new to this channel, I upload Final Cut Pro 10 tutorials every day at 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. So if you enjoy these types of videos, consider hitting that subscribe button. Also, a Final Cut Pro 10 tutorial playlist with over 170 Final Cut Pro 10 tutorials. See you in the next one.
Peace. Thank you.